what is up guys welcome to Fi's channel and um in this tutorial i just want to show you guys a quick way on how you can create your grid line in autocad so i want you guys to make sure subscribing to my channel because i post um cats tutorials revit um and so on so let's just step into the tutorial without wasting much of our time so without a further ado i want you guys to make sure subscribe to my channel and um let's just go into the tutorial so the first thing i actually um do is to create a polyline pl for the shortcuts and um, um let's own a uh, auto then i create a two to five and then this two to five and then this two to five and then this two to five so after that i create um a kind of construction line at the middle of um, the so this is the first thing i actually do then from here i can select the poly line and then start placing it wherever i want to have my goods so i can actually paste that there and then um, for this also i can come here to paste it because i will still delete the poly line again so i can even come here to put another one um just for that and um i can actually come here to put another one no no here this here no not there i think it, sh it should be the side okay then I can actually try to not really not necessary for so for this I can come here and put for that and um, I can come here and then um, put I can also come here to put one on this side and um, for this side I can put one there also so after I'm done with them um, placing anything i actually want to place let's let's paste one here so i come here no not there so i can come and where is it so i can actually come here to this is gonna be there so we can actually opt out and then start deleting the poly line the rectangular line we created so if this one is gonna be stopping there we can actually trim it with tr and then um, come to this other side again to trim it and um, we can actually leave that there so we can come here and clean one here is the poly line I can actually come here also to erase the poly line. This one also we erase it because it's not needed. Uh, this one is not needed also. I think we actually made a mistake there. So let's just try to look for one. Select that and then um, we can copy the selection and um, paste it here uh, so we can actually stop this here if we want to to stop it there and um, copy another line and um, bring it somewhere here so we can just break this other one here so you know anyhow you feel like doing it and um we're not done we're not done we need to delete this we need to delete this poly line so well, the only thing you have to learn to, to do now is just to make sure that um you are deleting the ss line that is not required like just deleting the FS line you know is not needed and um, 
Let's check it very well to be sure. I know we still need to delete this. So let's check it. Let's check it. Okay, we can if 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 you feel like we can just copy this and um try to bring it here just to indicate that point so we can actually delete that so the next thing we will be doing now is just to let's delete uh, the one we created first oh what's wrong let's wait okay let's delete this one we created and um <coughs> sorry guys for that oh my god so we can actually try to offset um, this let's go with three meters mm, let's go with 30.5 okay i think 3.5 is okay so we can actually offset the last edge by 3.5 and um, trim it then we we'll delete this last one. Let's select it. Let's just select everything and um, trim it later. So we can just trim everything now and um, delete this ones. So if this is what you are actually doing, and then the last thing is just for you to to create your circle, see for the shortcuts, and um, you know, let's try to set it to. okay then we can actually move it to the tip of um, the line so we can actually select it and start copying it to points that um that is needed so we can just do this paste it here paste it here and paste it at the other side so we can actually select this again and um coming down here to paste it paste it here you can actually paste this to paste oh no no just pasting it here pasting it here uh, pasting it here pasting it here pasting it there so we can still select it and um, copy it again just to paste here you can actually say i'm pleasing it when it shows the box the box um the box indicates that um, I'm selecting the end point of um, the line. So we can just come here and press it. So we can actually do this last one to the other side. Uh, we copy it and um, bring it down here to the box, to the box, to the box. Bring it to the box, bring it to the box, and um, to the box, and um, to the box. So the last one we can actually do is to click on the line and um, Let's change it to the grid layer if we have it. Um, yeah, let's check if it's gonna be here. Yeah. Um, grid and that is GI right now. Okay, grid lines. So we can actually select, we can actually close this and um, select the line. And um, match the property which is NA for the shortcut. So we can just select all the grid lines and um, select all the lines that we want to to turn into the grid line. So that is just um, the brief thing you you really need to learn um, about the grid. So the last thing you actually need to do is to create your text T for the shortcut and um, just try to you know be creative with yourself so just come here and um you can actually type it um to be um your capital letter why you like going with um capital letter so a and um you can just copy it and um copy the selection and um come here to place the b the c uh, d then you know Let's, let's just do it, let's just do it. So paste it there, 
and paste this also and then we can just delete this so it's just so simple so i want you guys to make sure you're subscribing to my channel down below because i post contents that you need like cat content and um, tutorials like this so i want you guys to make sure you're subscribing to my channel down below thank you guys for watching this video like